Hello, my dear. This is Mother. And this is an exciting time in your life. I know it is. 63 years young. Who would have ever thought that when I met you when you were 22 years old, when you came to Port Huron on the train, mind you, and you wrote the book, Don't Get Off the Train. <laughs> but I think that it was the great ex greatest experience, bitter and sweet, all of that mixed together that has brought you to this awesome day in your life, awesome time in your life, and I'm so proud of you. You really have no clue as to how proud I am of you um, when I watch you on television on your own show, and then I watch you on Daystar, and I, I wanna stop right there and say, you have hit Apex and the Epic Center. And it's amazing how you've come in uh, at such a time as this after the going home of the uh, president of that uh, station. And you're coming in behind it with such a powerful, powerful presence and, and the glory of the Lord on you. But anyway, you know, I can go all around. I can go through all of that. But I just want to say to you, I wish you uh, um, many more years. You know, I know this is 63 years of of bittersweet, up, down, in and out, and all of those things, but I'm telling you, I love your endurance. I love how you get up, and I love how you keep it moving. You are such a tremendous testimony to so many people around the globe, and especially women who, you know, us who have come up in ministry, come up in the ranks, and some in the early years and plowed through for this generation that's coming behind us. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm in utter amazement and I'm in awe of God as to, because he raised you up for such a time. I love you so much and I don't want to go over too much time. I don't want to take too much time, but I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday, blessed birthday. You are already blessed. And I and I, I just thank God for bringing you in my life. You were 22 and you're 63 now. How many years ago is that? That's a lot of years. 22, 62. I mean, that's a uh, 63. That's a lot of years. It's like 41 years ago, I believe, that God sent you in my life, and it's so amazing. If I have my math right. Um, it's about that. I know it's way beyond 30 years. And you are a great woman of God. And you keep doing what you're doing. And I'm telling you, just know that mom's got your back. I pray for you. I, I want to encourage you and love you with all my heart. I really do. I always have. And I've always been honored by being, in, be, you having been in my life and you being in my life. And I've always treasured you. And I, and, and I just bless you today. And you keep doing what you're doing. And wherever God is taking you, I'm telling you, many of us are riding your skirt tail. <laughs> many of these young people are riding your skirt tail now. And I'm thanking God that I have been a part of your life. I love you with all my heart. You know, your sister, Auntie Lena, loves you too. And uh, I just bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Never ever give up. I don't think you're at the, you can't ever give up because you found something deeper than what many have not even found yet. You found the treasure that God was always coming after in you. Even when you were going through the bitter and the sweet and the storms and all that. There was a treasure in you. I tell you that God dug up out of you. Can't be changed, can't be stopped, can't be deterred, can't be detoured. And many, are being blessed because of your endurance and your tenacity to keep it moving and to please God. Your obedience has always pleased him. And I love you. Okay? Bye-bye. It's mama. <laughs>